Hey, I'm here, and I guess you're wondering why. I'm here on the most basic level, I guess because I love to solve problems. I had to ask myself why I'm here, and I think it's a really important question for everybody to answer, to be honest with you. If it's difficult for somebody to answer that question in today's world, I think it's also pretty likely that that person is suffering from a pretty high dissatisfaction rate in their life. There was a time when, oh boy, I was a pretty miserable shit, to be honest. <laughs> like many of us, we've all had our struggles. I've always loved solving problems, but never really my own. And I had to really take a pause a handful of years ago and really do that work on myself. I think I've always been a good person, but I was also always in my head and had a lot of things going on that I wasn't really addressing. I think a lot of us kind of have gotten to the point in the last few years, especially where we just had to hit the, the reset button or something and pause and redo everything or reevaluate everything. I went into the legal profession, loving the law and loving learning to analyze things and think about things from different perspectives. And I've always been a really rational and, and kind of a neutral person in a lot of ways. Solving problems in addition to that with mediation was a perfect fit for me. I was very interested in that from the get in law school. And shortly after law school, began doing it professionally, both in the courts and professionally outside of there. It's been a great profession and a great skill to develop. But sometimes you get to a point where you're going through the motions and everything should be feeling good. Things are going great, but they actually aren't deep down, right? This is where I get to the why. I enjoy helping people solve their problems, but in a mediation context... I'm only there to help them solve this much of their life. There's, you know, a legal dispute usually that has come up and that's, you know, one little portion of someone's life. But in that role, I couldn't help but see and couldn't unsee uh, all of the reasons and all of the ways in which I could have helped these people avoid this whole situation from happening altogether and the types of thought processes and patterns of behavior that would get people in these positions that they found themselves in. So that's when I decided that taking a small sidestep into coaching was the perfect fit for me. And that helps me fully live authentically and help people in a much broader sense with much more, I think, a much big, bigger impact in their lives. So for me, Having gone through all of this work I did on myself and therapy and taking care of my health and my mental health, my wellness, and asking myself the big questions about life that I still continue to ask myself every day, asking all of those questions and researching all of those things and trying to understand who we are and what we're here for in the most relatable sense I can, that brought me the most joy. And that's really what I want to help other people find, whether they become clients of mine or whether you're just here listening on YouTube or on some other social media platform. It's all good. I'm just happy you're here. If you're here, you're just meant to be here. That's all. A lot of things in our life just happen for a reason. And a lot of the things that we go through, they just have to teach us something. And if we're repeating lessons, right? If we're repeating the same, I guess you would call it mistakes, but sometimes they're not mistakes. They're not mistakes when they're happening again and again. And we're the common denominator. <laughs> so, that's something that I want to help people get past is taking our egos out of it and examining things in a little more rational way and understanding how to address your problems in a way that helps you actually move forward. You know, some things that have happened to us in our life, we can't undo. Some of them are really bad, but we can get better and we can learn to view them differently and we can learn to view ourselves differently even those basic things can help us move past a lot. Not just moving past it, but finding a way to actually use that voice that we gain to help others in our situation, to make it part of what we go after in life, our goals, or to make it the way that we support ourselves or get back to, to our community in a way. There are a million ways in which your why can help you express yourself in a much more authentic way than maybe you've been living to date. The more and more authentic we're able to be in our lives and our professions, all the above, and the more that we are kind of scratching that itch of that thing that makes us really happy and really fulfilled. When we're kind of taking care of that, we're doing good. 
So circling back to the question of why am I here? I'm here to try to help people live a better life, whether that's giving them a small business tip that helps them clear more clients this month, or maybe it's just a way of looking at something differently so that you can move past it better all the way up to asking about our consciousness and what is the meaning of our life, each of our lives and what comes next for us? What could we do to improve in this life? I'm here for all of it. The big stuff, the little stuff. I just want to help you do better because that's all we really are here to do. We're here to learn. We're here to love and we're here to experience. We have to learn and we have to evolve. We have to love each other because we are all that we have, all of us. And we have to experience. We're here for a human experience. We're here to, to see all the sights to see on earth, hopefully. Experience the rich cultures and all the people and the great food and the experience of being with each other and doing different things that make us happy, as well as contributing to each other. I think that's an important role for humans. So I look at things from a very small and individual perspective, all the way up to a very global perspective. I think our next leg of human evolution is more so to look at our inner selves than anything else and improve there. Changes in consciousness are things that I think are a very big key to our future. And if you're kind of interested in that topic and all kind of subtopics that fall under it, then this is definitely a channel that you're gonna to wanna to follow. And a little about me, I guess, just in general in life. You all know I have a legal background, but just in my personal life, I love martial arts. I grew up doing that. I'm a second degree black belt in Taekwondo. I enjoy the outdoors a lot, hiking, camping, the mountains, the desert. Mostly I enjoy learning how things work and learning new skills and new pieces of information. I'm a little bit of a sponge for sure. I'm very interested in alternative healing modalities, different types of body work, breath work, meditation, even psychedelic therapies and alternative therapies like that. I'm really interested. I think the research is really solid on these topics and it's we're getting more and more of it every day, but I think it's definitely gonna be a large wave of the future. And as strange as this sounds, I do believe that UFOs and UAPs, the technology that we're talking about, that is gonna become a very large part of our future and it's going to influence almost every aspect of our lives. And I really mean that from everything to how we travel, to where we're able to go in space, that changes very drastically in our lifetime, I think. And it's something that I feel is very important to talk about and address. It's talking about some big, big questions about us and the universe. And I think they're very valid questions to ask at this point, given what's gone on in, in our government more recently on the topic. So if you are interested in that topic, I would absolutely follow along on this channel. Follow along on my socials. YouTube is where you'll get the longest videos for sure. I also have blogs that sometimes do and don't relate to the videos you'll see on YouTube. And if there are topics you're interested in that you'd love to hear me talk about, please drop them in the comments. I'll consider them and I'll put them on the list of videos to make. I hope you get something out of these videos and I'm going to keep putting more and more content out for you to look at.